Hi there, I'm John Levensold, and today what we're doing is we're just building up a very simple WordPress template from scratch. So far we've only got two very simple files. If I go to the file system here, I'm using my finder, and I go to WordPress, and I go to WB content under themes, my template, you'll see that we just have a style.css file and an index.php file. And with those two files, we've managed to create all this. And we've got an older entry section, so we've got a proper loop with different levels of pages. We've got top level navigation, and we've got ourselves a nice little sidebar, which we did in the last video. So the next step is going to be to separate this out and to clean up our files a little bit and make that index.php file a little less scary. Because right now it's getting a little large. It's almost 81 lines of code. So we can actually trim this down. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to hit save. So I did file, new text document, and I'm just going to hit save. And then in my template, I'm going to go and I'm going to write header.php. Now WordPress knows that header.php corresponds with the header. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the index.php file and I'm going to take everything in the header tag and up, so all of this, everything after the navigation and the closing div of header, and I'm going to, just going to hit cut and then I'm going to paste it into here and I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit save here. Now if I refresh this page, I'm going to lose everything in my header. But don't worry, we can get it back by just going and creating a new PHP tag here and saying get underscore header and then the closing PHP tag. And then WordPress knows that it's looking for header.php and it'll find it. And there you go. The next thing I want to do is I want to pull out this sidebar. So. To do that, again, I'm just going to hit cut, and I'm going to open another PHP tag, and I'm going to say get underscore sidebar, and I'm going to close my PHP tag and hit save. Then I'm going to create a new file, and then paste in my sidebar, make sure it's properly indented, and hit save, and I'm going to call this sidebar.php. And if I refresh this, nothing should happen. But if I go back to my index.php file, it's starting to look a lot cleaner. All we have now is the content and the footer. Well, we don't have much of a footer yet. But now I'm much more inclined to create a footer because everything else is a lot less complicated. I'm also going to change my indenting a little bit. But we'll get the footer in first. So as part of the footer, I'm just going to say create a new div and I'm going to call this class footer. And you can do a lot with a footer, but in our purpose for our purposes, I'm just going to say in small text, this theme was made by me. And a paragraph tag, and if I refresh it at the bottom, it just says it up very simply. We also might want to give a little bit of credit to the fine folks at WordPress that have built this wonderful blogging and content management system. So I'm going to create another paragraph here with a class and I'm going to call this thanks. And here I'm just going to say that this blog is proudly powered by WordPress and if you wanted to thank me you could also do that here but anyways so now if I hit save and I refresh it We've got this blog is proudly powered by WordPress, and this theme was made by me. Um, we don't want we don't want these things necessarily to be very large. 
but we can just style them very easily first off by giving our footer a height let's say 70 pixels we'll give this uh, maybe a dark gray we'll specify a certain color and I'm gonna say that the footer paragraphs should be 8 point and lastly that there should be a padding of maybe 20 pixels maybe 20 pixels is too much 10 pixels and that links should be also white and I don't think we need that small tag so I'm gonna get rid of that since we're already styling it using CSS and you could put any other kind of information that you wanted here of course great I'm just gonna combine these two and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna center my text so in my paragraph here I'm gonna say text align center great that looks like a footer now just like we removed our sidebar and we removed our header I'm gonna take this section and everything at the bottom I'm just gonna hit cut and I'm gonna open another PHP tag and I'm gonna say get footer hit save create a new file paste it in hit save and footer.php so we've gone from two files to five files we've got our header our footer our index our sidebar and our style and if I go back and I refresh nothing has changed however we've separated things out so that they're very clean and they're easily available to WordPress the other advantage is that if I go to design now and I go to my theme editor I can see that the footer and the header are all readily available to make changes personally I wouldn't make changes this way since sometimes the formatting doesn't necessarily work out and all of that however it's refreshing that you can easily direct your clients or if you need a last minute change to be made you can just direct them to this page and they can edit it using the theme editor in the next video we're going to be looking at how we can create specialized pages for things like the page versus the post so when I click on about I might not want it to be styled the same way as a blog post we're gonna do that thanks a lot for listening